Craig Hudson shares Phil's passion about preserving the environment, so much so that he's devoted the last 20 years to helping companies identify opportunities for environmental improvement that add business value. It can't be too invasive to my hip pocket. I've got to be able to manage these things within the sort of tight financial constraints that I have running a small business. So I'll be happy to have a look at all of these. Yeah, and, and that's why we want to look at the, the loss value of the material and you'll find that in most cases, any investment you have to make on that will be paid back in a very short period of time. So we're not just looking at environmental issues, we're looking at cost benefits as well to make sure it's not an impost on your business. Craig, this is one of our newest printers. This is a, uh, a NER Tempo, it's a flatbed UV. Technology has been, uh, was based out of Israel. Um, and this is really replacing the technology that we've got out on our floor. The very latest toy at Full Impact is an on-demand printing machine that costs a fortune but produces absolutely no waste. Traditionally these things based on the single shift payback is somewhere around about 12 months. If we can crank this machine up and get it going over a two shift basis, then I'm going to own the biggest boat in the harbour eventually. This is absolutely at the top of the hierarchy of waste management. Yeah. Investment in new technology that doesn't produce waste with a rapid payback period. So we're looking at environmental benefits and we're looking at that quick payback period so there's not a financial impost on the company. Very much so. This stock here comes out of Germany, but it's either coming out of uh, places like Europe or Asia. Um, and they're always delivered in this fashion to us. And they become a big problem for us physically uh, because how do I dispose of them? So because they're coming in from overseas, it's impossible, I guess, to send the cores and the covers back. I notice that you've got them cut up in your recycling bin outside, which is good. But if we look at that hierarchy again, what we'd like to look at is uh, can we get a reuse option for these locally mm -hmm. uh, through a waste exchange so that we look at somebody that's using these types of materials yep. and then we can move that higher up the hierarchy so that uh, you can send them to, the, to them and rather than uh, recycling them. Really one of the things about being able to recycle these things is to be able to segregate mm -hmm. and have them put into separate containers uh, at the point of generation so that we can maximise the opportunity to recycle those. And certainly there are recyclable materials in there. Sometimes you won't have enough to make it viable to, uh, to recycle. The costs of transport and the cost of collection are too high. And that's where it's good to look at, are there some other industries in the area and do some partnering with uh, other industries to get together a critical mass so yep. that that then can be collected and, uh, and recycled. Okay.